my creator had immense mercy on me in leading me out of the Roman Catholic hierarchical institution to his true church, the true faith, which is only with his beloved two witnesses, Petrus and Mary Romanus, and they are his second coming, God incarnate in the flesh. And the true faith is with them and only with them. And they are teaching us this faith individually and through their online testimony and heavenly blogs. And I'd like to share this message, which gave me great joy, that um, was revealed on March 27th in their heavenly blog. It's of biblical proportions. It's under the title, Abandon and Forsake That Human Institution of No Grace, Love or Truth. Wisdom, who is the new name for God, said, The Holy Roman Empire is beginning and the Old Roman Empire is ending. The Holy Roman Church is here and the Old Roman Church is being demolished and destroyed. Revelations belong not only to God, but to his people and the Roman Catholic Church has kept back revelations from the masses and they have sought to hide this, my holy queen and her husband, the true authentic Pope and representative of my will. As he has also been in hiding with her in disguise, as the prophecy has stated. But this is the true Church of Rome and the old one is being demolished under our blessed feet. Walls are coming down and barriers are being removed between me and my people. All that has been set up as a mountain in front of them is being torn down. For I am universal faith and universal power and universal majesty. And I am the great I am. And I am the only option left for the living to turn to in order to have life in the fullest through me. There is no other way but through my two witnesses. And Queen Mary said, Blessed be the true Roman Catholic faith, and blessed be true wisdom, and blessed be our, holy, our royal monarchy, blessed be our coming and our going, and blessed be our royal dynasty over all. And she goes on to say, the Catholic Church is referring to the fake Falsroth Catholic Church of the Vatican. The Catholic Church is a distraction and a painful sore on my heart because so many are trusting in her false teachings and wicked practices and her heartless ways that I can feel the desolation continuously in my soul. She is not the ark of the Lord nor a safe place for people to go and worship. She is full of corruption, sin and death and all her members are dead to the Lord and his anointed. We simply desire that she no is no longer permitted to spread lies and share lies in the name of the Lord and that all would abandon and forsake that human institution of no grace, love or truth. We want all to know that the Lord is here and accessible to all who want to know him. We do not seek to control the voice of the Lord or have a monopoly on his teachings. We desire the whole world to know the will of the Lord. And I'll end the quote there. <clears throat> and there is more to this profound message. And I would encourage the viewer to read it all. And thank you for watching.